Rivals, welcome to Bax Attacks. Tonight we have some more early arena attacks. First getting in the arena as a Stronghold 11. Pretty exciting uh, evening. I stayed in there for several hours, getting as many attacks as I could in, hoping I wouldn't get uh, booted out. And on this first one, I'm seeing a very uh, common base where they are encouraging you to attack from the south where all the defenses are. So instead, whenever possible, try to figure out a way to attack from the north. Uh, if you can get past that air defense up top, it's just those three units. If those can be knocked out, the dragon is going to easily be able to knock out the, um, the stronghold. Actually, if you can get several troops in there, it can do the same. So noticing I'm kind of hovering the mauler around and seeing if he has a path to the center or off to the side where those watchtowers are. If you see that they will path to the center, go ahead and drop them, hold off on the rest of the troops, and then once they dig a, um, a start their hole, uh, digging in, you can safely drop the other troops, get them in behind that. If you have a frost shield or something to put that on there, they will knock out those um, watchtowers and anti-air. They may well take out the stronghold themselves, and if not, the dragon will certainly knock that out. So this design is one of the easiest to, uh, to win against in the arena. And it doesn't even matter what he's got down south. They could be a um, high level uh, insanity tower. It, it just doesn't matter. All right, this next base is uh, kind of similar. And in fact, there we do have the insanity tower uh, down south. It's got a similar structure uh, up north this time. And here we only have um, two towers up, uh, up north, watchtowers that are anti-air and so this one should be even more straightforward. We just have to make sure that we can get our air units into the, uh, the top and we should be able to, uh, to take this out without too much difficulty. The fact that there is a uh, flyer tower upgrading doesn't matter, it's going to be out of range and so will be the, uh, the fire tower. There's even a, um, a true portal for us to pick up a little bit of uh, extra mana in case we need an extra spell on this one. All right, and so instead of our normal army composition, we notice that the uh, Mauler can't get into the center, and so we have another unit that can fly right in there. And we're gonna use just one soldier to um, knock out uh, a, a distraction on the side so that we can just come in a little bit more, uh, more cleanly. Five mana hunter squads are, are gonna be plenty to take out uh, what we need to along with the dragon. So the uh, soldier plus the uh, dragon will be able to knock out these buildings as well as the watchtower. So just that little clipping will make sure that our, uh, our troops don't go offline here. All right, so you can see as I hover over there, they, they all head for that uh, troop portal. We send the dragon back to join them. We hold off until we get that frost shield to cover all of them. All right, and the watchtowers can fire at just uh, one at a time, and there's just too many of them. And with that extra mana, we're able to cast the, uh, the frost shield a second time. They take out the watchtowers, and now there's no anti-air left defending the uh, stronghold. And so the dragon can, uh, can take that out. Flame tower will knock out some of the uh, mana hunters, but that doesn't matter. All right, so you have to watch each base uh, carefully, but the idea is the same. You just look for a stronghold with almost no air defense uh, near it, where they're trying to guard it with walls, remove distractions if needed, send in uh, a number of mana hunters with your dragon, and then some kind of uh, either a frost shield or something else to provide some protection for them. All right, so even that was a hard base, we had a uh, victory on that one. Um, loving getting an arena chest after each battle. That's kind of cool. All right, so on this one, we're not actually going to attack, but we're going to look what happens if you let time expire. Notice we have uh, eight, six seconds left on this one. And a friend in the kingdom said that uh, the time expired, even though he'd already selected hit the uh, battle stone. And what happens is your stone gets returned. So we have three stones to start out with, three stones again, at the end of it. So if you uh, do click battle by accident and don't think you can take the base, just hold off and um, it will time out on you. Now notice here is another example. I'm really not that high in, uh, in cups at all, mid 5200s, 
and we're seeing opponent not found on the hard setting. So this is very shortly after they switched the uh, battle song cost to one for arena attacks, and so we're not seeing a lot of uh, folks with high cup values just yet. Um, just a couple uh, days later, those we'll see people hitting the uh, the six thousands. Uh, I have no doubt. All right, so here is a uh, easy base, and it's particularly uh, easy. It's again we have. Uh, really no any uh, protection of north except for those two watchtowers. So we'll get Forvel in there to provide a little bit of uh, magic cover. We'll take a full complement of mana hunters this time. Since the uh, watchtowers are tucked in a little bit uh, more. Now actually the a watchtower on one side doesn't have the range to shoot at a dragon on the opposite, and so if we can knock out just that one watchtower, we'll be able to come in with the dragon behind. So this is severe overkill. The amount of mana hunters on just one watchtower and on the stronghold is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't even need the dragon. The, the mana hunters themselves were able to, uh, to just overwhelm that, uh, uh, that stronghold. So definitely keep that in mind, the, uh, the Mana Hunter Snipe for um, base designs with, uh, with, with weak air, anti-air support on the uh, Stronghold. Alright, and we're seeing yet another one of these. You'll, you'll, if you're in the arena, you'll notice these are very common. Um, and they really are trying to force you to attack down south, but don't take the bait. If you play Clash of Clans, this is called like a, a northern uh, teaser, trying to get you to go up top, but instead just come across the walls. All right, now they've got those um, Sky Watchers this time, and so that those would shred any Mana Hunters coming in. So that's at least one way to try to protect. But um, there isn't enough um, uh, kind of distraction to keep the Maulers from coming in directly. All we have to do is knock out that one Watchtower off on the side, um, hovering around the, uh, the Mauler, and you see he's gonna kind of cut in where they're looking to land is very close to the stronghold, and so we'll get the other troops a little bit behind them. Really nothing shooting at them at, them at this point. All right, we'll have enough mana for a frost shield in a second here. Okay, and when they do, those guys are gonna cut down toward the center, which will do nothing but get them in, in the trouble, but there'll be enough of them coming up um, north to uh, to get the stronghold. Or at least that was the plan. And so this is, uh, I show this not as a great success, but as a, as a problem on a real close call. If your maulers do not target um, those sky watchers uh, up front, and if they start heading toward the middle, um, you're, you're gonna be in trouble. So this one was a very close call. I'm lucky that enough of the troops got to the stronghold to take that out, otherwise that would have been a, a loss. So sometimes there are just subtle differences in the bases that determine a um, just a, a walk over easy victory and something that's more difficult. But keep practicing and you'll pick that up. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.